Hi, I just wanted to make a quick video to get you started for chapter two on how to import a map document, download the data files, and make folder connections. So the first thing that you need to do is go to our Blackboard course and go to getting to know ArcGIS Pro exercise data. And this is where you're going to open this up and you're going to download this. Let me turn that off. So here you can see this is the data that you're going to need and this is going to be all the data that is required for this textbook getting to know ArcGIS Pro 2.8 in this case so what we want to do is we want to download this you'll notice that it's a zip file you're going to have to unzip this file in order to use it but let's first download it just by clicking on it and depending on your computer it will either maybe download here or you might have to go um, do that a second there or you might have to go to your downloads and then find it in here either way this is where you need to kind of go so if I go here I can just open it and here's the folder notice this one here it has this little zipper and it also says zip that means it's zipped kind of think of it as a suitcase your clothes in there it's zipped you cannot access your clothes in there the only way you can access your clothes is by unzipping it and that's kind of what this does so once this is open, we'll just right click on it and go copy and close that. And then you want to go to your uh, computer and I would recommend saving this to your C drive. So if you go C uh, and then save it, and I've already saved it here and you can notice that it's been saved here in there. So once you save it to your C drive, it's unzipped. Notice it doesn't have a zipper anymore. You're good to go it's saved and that's it this we are looking at this through uh, Windows Explorer you will not access this data through Windows Explorer you'll always access the stuff through ArcGIS Pro so don't start going in here because it's going to create a it can create a potential huge mess so now we have our data downloaded I opened up uh, ArcGIS Pro here for us and I don't know if I can expand that there uh, leave that up there. So now we have. So now what it wants us to do is insert a map document. So if we go to the Insert tab, we go to Import a Map. Now what we need to do, it's already done there because I've been there. Is we want to. It wants to find out. Well, where did you store this data? And so it's going to show you how to do this by going to navigate that and so what did i do i saved all our data to the c drive look to my c drive i find the esri press getting to know arcgis pro and then it wants us to go to the world folder so here is the world folder and here is this file this is a dot mxd file which means it was created in arc map and you can bring an arc map is still used widely but we're using the latest version arcgis pro but you can create a map that was created in arc map into arc pro to work on and that's what they want us to do so we'll just click on that and we'll just say okay and then boom there it is the next thing that we're going to want you to do later on here is make something called a folder connection and knowing how to make a folder connection is very important because you're going to always need to make a folder connection to find the data you're not going to really be bringing these things in as an mxd you're going to be bringing things in as layers so under the catalog i wish i could have uh let me move this down here so i'm in the catalog pane here and if you look in the catalog so under folders we want to right click our mouse, add folder connection. Now what we're trying to say is, well, where is this data that we stored so we can use it in the ArcGIS Pro? So none of this data is actually stored in Pro. It's stored on your computer. It just knows how to find that data. So again, we stated it on our C drive, for me at least, and you might be somewhere else, but it's wherever you sold, saved it. Here it is, ESRI Press getting ArcGIS Pro and these are all the different folders that you're going to be using throughout the semester this one we want to use world so all we do is just click on that we're not going to open it up we're not going to do anything with that because we want all the data that's in there we want to have access to that 
And so to have access to that, we need to just make a connection to just this folder. So we just click there, highlight it, say OK. Now if we go here and expand this, notice we have this world folder now. And we can look in here. Here's that MXD we added. We can't add it through here. Look, it goes like that. See how it makes a little no-go? Can't do that. That's why you have to go to the import. But here this little cylinder, and it says world.gdb. A .gdb is a geodatabase, and this little cylinder, the silver cylinder, signifies it is. And so in there, we now have all this data, cities, counties, lat, long, ocean. So that kind of sums it up. And then when you want to use these things, you can just drag it in. Notice how it doesn't give you that no-go. You can drag it in and just drop it, but we don't need to do that um, for that. So that is how you import a map, and that's how you make a folder connection. That's how you download and save the data uh, to your computer.